out here at the asparagus bed. And one of the things you need to do in the fall, you can see I started a pile over here. That was the initial stalks I cut down, even with the ground on this end, so that I got enough room to kind of move through the rest of them without it all just turning into a mess. But what you do is wherever you planted your asparagus at, in the fall, when it after you get a hard frost, which we did, so everything's turning brown now. You can kind of see it better up there. There's still a little bit of green, but most of it's pretty brown. So you go through and you cut all your asparagus off, even with the ground. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is some asparagus can create seeds. That would be like your Mary Washington's. And you can see some of the seeds here. That would be these kind of little orange orange looking things before they turn orange they're red and there's several of them in here that have them on here um, and I just leave those where they're at but I put all of the stalks that I cut down back in to kind of help insulate this ground and that provides next year's nutrients also as that breaks down on top and uh but I just go down through here and I basically just use pruning shears and I go straight to the ground level and just cut them off. And let me just kind of show you while I'm standing here doing it, I might as well just go ahead and show you. So you can take like these stalks right here. I just go down, I make sure I'm pretty close to the ground and I snip them off. And then I take and lay those stalks over on the ground and then I just go to the next stalks that I find and I do the same thing and I do this all the way through this whole entire bed this is the bed that I just planted so I didn't harvest really anything off of this there was probably a couple that could have been harvested but again I wanted it to put all of its growth into growing roots so I didn't harvest anything and then once you get all this done, you know, probably the next year you'll be able to harvest some. Especially if you had two-year-old crowns like I did. You won't be able to harvest a lot probably, but you'll be able to harvest some. I usually go if they're like pencil size, leave them. And if they're bigger, I would harvest them. You want to make sure you get every one of them too. It's kind of important. Weeds just about took over everything again this year. You know, I'm hoping, hoping things improve for next year. And then the ones that I cut off initially to open up this end, I put down here now on the mostly blank end. I haven't got around to digging up my sweet potatoes yet. One, the weeds got so bad I literally lost track where they were at. But I did dig up one right here, or one that was close to the ground just to kind of give me an idea where they're at. And I'm going to go get a, um, oh, a pitchfork now and try to dig up the more, some more of these and make sure that they are... Uh, hopefully have a good crop of sweet potatoes that first one there that come up though not looking very good <laughs> um, but that's generally you know close to the top or you know there's always a bunch of sweet potatoes where you plant sweet potatoes but literally the weeds just took over everything I ain't had time to come out here and till it yet for fall it's just been you know, I do what I try to do, and a lot of times I try to do too much, but post-cancer, it's been kind of rough. So, but I wanted to get this done because if I don't cut these down before winter gets here, that will stunt next year's growth. So that's why I wanted to get this asparagus done. Anyways, 
just wanted to follow up on the asparagus it actually did really well as you can tell there are a lot of asparagus stems that i had to cut down um i don't i didn't count them but you know there there was a lot they were just coming up and coming up and coming up i didn't think these ever going to stop coming up so anyways thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families and god bless your homesteads